today is actually the day it's gonna happen a million subscribers <laughs> incoming just absolutely mad What is up guys, Karma Medic here and welcome back to another dose. Today is my last ever day as a medical student. The next day that I put this stethoscope around my neck, I'm going to be introducing myself as Dr. Nasser Karma. Which <laughs> is absolutely wild, absolutely crazy to say out loud. I don't think, I've, have I said that a lot before? I don't, I don't even know. Anyways, obviously a lot of emotions and feelings going through me right now. The last day as a medical student, you know, it's, it's been a long time coming. I've actually got placement in a little bit over an hour, currently on geriatrics at one of my local hospitals that I've spent a lot of my time in medical school in. So let's just get moving, hop into the car, and I'll catch up with you in a second. Mercedes? How may I help you? Navigate me to Route guidance is starting. So, welcome to my car. I'm going to be making a full video about uh, the car fairly soon, I think. It's like one of the most exciting purchases that I've had in a very, very long time. And I'm really, really happy with it. So video soon come. But anyways, heading to the hospital for my last day of placement as a medical student. It just feels absolutely surreal. I was trying this morning to try and remember, you know, what was I doing in my fourth year of medical school? Like, how did I feel? How confident was I? What kind of skills was I doing, etc. And I just like, I feel like I couldn't remember it properly. It, kind of has just felt like a bit of a blur from fourth year till the end of fifth year because things have been so busy and hectic and now here we are with one day left oh my goodness oh, absolutely mad i've come a long way you know from being a little first year medical student scared to do pretty much anything to where i am now so i'm really proud of that you know these these last couple of weeks that we've had as final year medical students on placement they have been very relaxed in the sense that they're very self-driven so there's no sign-in sheets for us to sign no one's really checking up on us if we're there or not primarily because the people who we're shadowing are f1s and f2 doctors so people who were in our position just a couple of months ago or a year ago and so you know they all say to us the same thing like hey if you want to go home at lunch, go home at lunch. If you want to come in early, come in early. If you want to leave early, leave early. It's up to you, basically. So it's been quite relaxing from that point of view. And you know, you can really decide your own schedule and kind of get as much as you want and need out of the day. And I think now at this point, with one day of placement left, I have reached the point where I've learned as much as I possibly can as a medical student in the hospital. I feel like the next steps for me to evolve and to progress and, you know, become more competent are going to involve me actually having the responsibility, actually doing the job and, you know, getting more involved hands on as the primary person taking care of the patients. So I think it's just it's time. It's I mean, coincidentally, I'm <laughs> it's my last day of placement. There's no time left. I'm going to start working in, in about a month or so, but it's time for me to take that leap of faith it's time for me to take that jump and you know start working as a doctor which is absolutely mad to think about and to say and when i introduce myself as dr nasser karma to a patient for the first time that is going to be absolutely mind-boggling geriatrics rotation, which basically means care of the elderly, and the vast majority of patients that come to this ward have had a fall for one reason or another and are now in hospital. One of the great things that this transition to F1 rotation has allowed me to do 
is really take on the role of an F1 doctor, which is what I'm gonna be in a couple of months. For example, the people that I've been shadowing have been really, really proactive in getting me as involved as possible, doing things like requesting drugs, changing drug doses, uh, making referrals, answering bleeps, vetting CT scans, x-rays, etc., etc. Which has been great because let's practice for literally what I'm about to start doing next month. here in the hospital. I think only final years are still here. Um, because it's our final year and our last couple of weeks or last week, a lot of us are taking holidays here and there, going abroad, you know, trying to enjoy the last couple, you know, weeks we have <laughs> as, as students before we become full-time working professionals. And so there's pretty much no one here. I'm the only one. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it. This is my final day on placement. The last time I'll be coming up to these lockers, storing my stuff here in the morning as a medical student. I don't even know where the lockers and stuff are for doctors. I'll have to figure that out in the near future. But yeah, last day of geriatrics placement, I'm gonna go in and yesterday the F1 told me that today I'm gonna have my own patients, which I'm gonna be responsible for coming up with their management plan, treatment plan, reporting back to the consultant on the ward round and then also presenting the patients on the board round. So that should be fun. I'm gonna go get started and I'll catch you guys here again at about lunchtime. Peace. This lift is going up. Good morning. So quite a lot of patients did quite a few things. So time for a much needed lunch break. All right guys, just like that my last day of clinical placement as a medical student. It's the last time I'm gonna take these scrubs and put them in the linen bin as a medical student. Last time I'll be up here for a while. Wow, that's it. I'm back in my car after my last day of placement. My last day as a medical student. I don't know how to feel about it, to be honest. I'm uh, I'm like happy, but sad, but anxious, but confident. I don't know how to feel. I, uh, it's just, you know, this is something I've been working so long towards. I have been a medical student for so long, for five years now. My identity has revolved around being a medical student. Every time I introduce myself to anyone new I meet, hi, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm a medical student. So at some point comes up in the conversation, you know, it's just been such a core part of my identity and who I am. And now I'm about to become a doctor, which is something I've wanted and worked towards and strive towards my entire life. And now it's here and I have it. I, I don't I don't need any more exams. I don't need to prove myself anymore to anyone. Like I am a doctor. My name is Dr. Nasser Karma, which is, which is absolutely wild to say out loud. I actually asked you guys on Instagram if you have any questions for me on my last day on placement as a medical student in medical school. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you do that somewhere up over here. Um, and I think when I get home, I'm going to answer some of those questions. So I can better reflect and think about how I feel and sort of understand what it means to, to be here. So yeah, gonna drive home, listen to some music and uh, I'll see you later. Peace. All right, hello everyone. I'm back from the hospital. It is currently 6.38. I didn't just get back, but had a pretty good long day on placement. And yeah, now I'm excited to look through all of the questions that you guys sent me on Instagram. All right, we've got lifeofdens.15 who says, what do you expect to change in your day-to-day -day life once you become a doctor? I think this is a good question because I'm expecting quite a bit to change. I think two of the biggest things are going to be change in my schedule and then also responsibility. So with regards to my schedule, you know, right now, I don't really do anything from nine to five most days, most of the time. I spend some time in the hospital, sometimes studying, sometimes working on YouTube, sometimes socializing, going out, playing sports, whatever. And very soon I'm going to have to spend at least nine to five um, in the same environment, in the same place, and maybe even longer depending on my shift. And also that, that nine to five might be on the weekends or might be overnight, you know, from 8 p.m. till 8 a.m. or whatever the case is. So the fact that my schedule is gonna change in that way is a little bit scary because that's out of my control. It's something that I have to do that I can't change if I want, but I guess that's part of working life and I'm ready to take it on. The second thing I think is responsibility, this sense of responsibility. All of this time, all of my life as a student, the responsibility was always for myself and to myself. 
all the studying and the hard work that I did and everything that I've done largely in my life has been for me, it hasn't been for my parents, it hasn't been for anyone else. So now doing things in my day-to-day -day job that has direct and serious effects on patients, on other people, not necessarily just for myself, means that I'm gonna have a lot of responsibility. And I think with that responsibility comes stress. And you know, I have faith that as time passes and things that once were brand new become more routine and I get more used to them that I won't be as stressed. But surely, you know, the first couple of times and probably forever that there's an acutely deteriorating patient in front of me or a medical emergency or something like that, there's going to be stress because my actions and what I'm doing and thinking about is going to have an impact on someone else, on another human. Whereas, you know, some of the bigger stressors of a university student are exams and, you know, upcoming assignments and coursework and things like that. And all the decisions that you make around that, all the actions that you do ultimately are only going to affect you. They're only going to affect your grades, how you do, and whatever impact that's going to have. So those are the two biggest things. Pretty pretty long answer for the question, but <laughs> that's it. This might be a nice to answer. Cyber Goku 8 asks, when you look back, what's your best and worst moment? I'll start with my worst moment because that's the one that's at the forefront of my mind. I think the worst moment for me was after I finished the USMLE Step 1 exam and I started going back to medical school uh, for my fourth year of medical school. And I just had this feeling and this sense of not enjoying my experiences as much as I thought that I should or as much as I used to in the past. And um, it was something that I'd never felt before, I'd never experienced. And looking back, I think it's easy for me see that I was just really, really burned out with studying, with working hard, with being so disciplined over a long period of time. But at the time, I didn't really understand it. I didn't know what was going on. And by some stroke of luck that I've talked about a couple of times, most recently in Ali Abdal's podcast, um, I started doing therapy with BetterHelp, who was a sponsor uh, previously on this channel. And kind of by total luck, I started doing that. And that therapy is what helped me kind of understand and realize what was going on in my life and what was changing about my thinking and my, and my happiness, ultimately. Yeah, I think that period of time where I just couldn't understand why I wasn't waking up super happy and energized like I always had been for my whole life um, and trying to figure that out and go through that I think was pretty tough. Honestly, my best memories from my time in medical school are just being with my core friends from medical school, you know, the likes of Kenji, Georgina, Shahir, Aaron, I don't know who else, there's a, there's a lot of them, I've probably forgotten a lot of you. And just going to guys bar, you know, drinking, chatting, having fun, sitting outside on the grass or just like late night in the library laughing and <laughs> not studying together. Those were some really good times and things that I don't think I'm gonna forget uh, for a while. All right, next question. Uh, it's from x.zahid and they say, what will you miss from med student life and what will you not miss? I think the thing I'm gonna miss most about life as a medical student is how much ability you have to do things in the hospital and with patients with ultimately close to no responsibility and no, you know, final, yeah, I guess responsibility for that thing. As a medical student, you are able to go talk to people, you're able to do procedures on them, examine them, you know, ask so many questions about their personal life, their history, yeah, their medical history, everything like that. In surgery, you get to take part in surgery sometimes. You know, these are, these are amazing, amazing things that like no one else gets to do besides people in the healthcare profession. And to be able to do all those things as a medical student, purely with the intention of learning and obviously trying to help the patient, but you, you don't have ultimate responsibility for taking care of that patient. You're gaining knowledge and you're doing this for learning, I think is incredible. And I think few other professions give you an opportunity like that to do something so amazing and profound whilst being so heavily supervised. And I don't know, I, I don't know. I'll never get to do that again. Every action I take in the future is, you know, is gonna have to be me, my responsibility and my name assigned to it and signed off on it. The other thing is the schedule. As a, as a student, you know, if you wake up and you're feeling tired, you just call in sick. <laughs> you just say, you're not coming in today. You decide to do something else. And of course you have a lot of time off in the summers and in Christmas for holidays and visiting family and stuff like that. I'm gonna miss that for sure. What I'm not gonna miss one single bit is another exam. I've always said my whole life, I don't care about exams. I love, I love studying. I, you know, exams are whatever. I just study for them. I write them. It's fine. Nine years into university education, I've had enough. I don't, I don't want to see a single exam again. I know of course I have plenty of exams ahead of me, but I'm happy that I'm going to have like a year's break with no exams for sure. Samadhi dot underscore 04 says, you've come a long way to be a doctor. What will your next step be? That's very true. 
I have come a long way to be a doctor. I've done a lot and I've sacrificed a lot to become a doctor. And I think that such a huge reason for why I decided to study medicine, and I'm gonna expand on this in a future video, but such a huge reason is that I just wanted to leave a positive impact somehow. And I couldn't think of a way in which I could possibly leave a, a stronger impact than being a doctor and helping patients. Uh, I wasn't gonna do that as an engineer, as an accountant, as a lawyer, as a professional snowboarder, as an athlete, whatever. There was no other career that I thought would be able to give me such a strong impact on as many people as possible. And I feel like throughout my time in medical school, through this YouTube channel, I've managed to have such a strong impact and, you know, make serious positive change in a lot, a lot of people. And to feel that I've done that before I've started working as a doctor is amazing. Um, I'm... <laughs> Why am I getting so emotional? I'm really, really proud. I'm, I'm so, so happy with what this YouTube channel has been able to achieve. I, I wouldn't change it for anything, any of the sacrifice and hard work that went into it. I think I now realize after having reached a million subscribers, how much impact these videos have had. And I'm, I'm so happy with what they've managed to achieve. And I'm so happy with what you guys tell me about that this channel has helped you with. And so what's next is, you know, I'm, I'm about to start fulfilling the dream that I originally had as a kid, the goal that I originally had as a kid, which was to leave a positive impact through being a doctor. And I'm, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to do that, you know? This YouTube channel has a positive impact in its own way, and being a doctor has a positive impact in its own way as well. And I'm just really, really excited to get that process started and start doing those things and uh, seeing where it takes me. So yeah, good things, good things ahead. From the bottom of my heart, I just want to thank you all for watching these videos, for supporting me, for commenting really nice things and just kind of being here along with me on this journey. So for the last time, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Nasser Karma and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. What? What is up guys? Karma Medic here and welcome back to what is up guys, Karma Medic here, and welcome back to an- Back, back, back. <clears throat> back, back, back.